Welcome to Too Many Minis. My name's Ozzy. One of my favorite things to watch on YouTube is terrain videos, terrain projects, people building them and uh, showing them off. And uh, so I wanted to do my own. I built a bunch of terrain last year for a tournament we were running. And uh, the first one of them I finished was uh, the Barrow Downs. So the first thing I did was find some reference, some inspiration, and I found this image just on a Google image search of a barrow. I particularly like this one. I can't remember where it's from. Probably Ireland. All the best barrows are in Ireland. Then I marked onto a hardboard five roughly circular bases and uh, cut them out with a Stanley knife and snapping. You can cut them out kind of square and then trim the edges off. Um, Hardboard is not the nicest thing to work with, but uh, it does the job. Then draw around the bases you've cut out onto your XPS foam, your insulation foam, uh, and cut that out with a with a blade to be slightly smaller than the base that you've made. And uh, cut roughly cut a smaller layer to go on top if you want a bit more elevation for your for your hill. And then wood glue, stick them all on top of each other. Stick a big book on top. Uh, and leave it for a day. Once that's dry, have another hack at it with your knife, just try and get it more smooth and hill like. And then you can filler it after that. Any old all purpose filler, poly filler, whatever, get it from the supermarket. And just uh, spread it on like you're buttering, buttering toast. Buttering very thickly. I wouldn't recommend buttering your toast like that. But you know, smooth out the smooth out the uh, the ridges between the levels. Smooth out the sharp cuts from your knife, and just try and get it looking as hilly, hilly as possible. Cut a section out for your entranceway, uh, just with a knife. Very easy. Then the entrances to the uh, barrows, just just roughly cut out of foam, stones, and laid in, and then fill it around to make them look like they've been sat in the earth for thousands of years. If you want to make a hinge kind of standing stones centerpiece like I've done, that's very simple. Just the hardboard with some little shapes of foams cut out. Just have fun arranging them. Seal the whole thing with Mod Podge. That's an important step because it, it, to take the primer it's going to need that. So Mod Podge all over, let that dry. Then it's PVA all over the in all the areas except for the stones uh, where you want the sand to be applied sprinkle sand over you, you you know you want the layer of sand down before you start getting to flocking then it's flocking uh, however you like to do that um, I did two or three colors of um, sawdust flock uh, followed by some small patches of static grass some little bits of dark green clump foliage and uh, that was pretty much it. Oh yeah, I attached some uh, larger tufts. Here's some grass tufts, the big ones. Look good. The small ones are a bit don't really show up on pieces this big. You know, they're better for individual miniature bases. So the big ones. I think I can get better at doing the the natural uh, application of turf and yeah, bushes and stuff. I think I did better on my Rohan scenery, which I did straight after this. But that's how it works. You really do learn why you're doing this. You know, you do one terrain project, and you're going to be so much better on your second one. And that's that's I've already found that. I've just having done a, a couple. I think the um, Barrowdowns is a really nice bit of terrain to have because although you know we think of the the Barrowdowns in the book, uh, just outside the old forest before they get to Bree, but there's clearly barrows potentially all over Middle-earth. They, they, we know that Rohan used them. So they have a kind of uh, anywhere quality to them. Anywhere with grassy land that's ever had settlements in, uh, in the history of Middle-earth could have some barrow down. So it's, it's, a, it's a nice nice bit of terrain to have in your arsenal. They're actually laid out on a 3x3 board, not a 4x4 board here, so there is there's a fair bit more room when you're playing properly. It's just that I've got a 3x3 at home for my small table. 
I just need to get Tom Bombadil, Goldberry, and the little prone Hobbit markers painted up so I can play through the Fog of the Barrow Down scenario from the books. So I had it all ready for the tournament we did, the London Wargaming Guild uh, Middle Earth Championships at the end of 2021. That was great, people played, you know, we played three games on it. I was really pleased to have that there. Drop a comment if you want to know any more specifics about how I built it or anything or what I used, because I'll just, you know, I'll answer there because I'm not, not it's not an exhaustive uh, how-to. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share it around. Sh let me know if you've built your own barrows. I'd love to see more people's ones and see how people have done things differently. Um, because I just love looking at Middle Earth terrain. Uh, see you next time. Cheers.